been a camper. It started out first couple of nights. It was fun. And then after that, it's a chore. It's a real chore. Kimberly Sedler tells me her family lost everything in May's historic flooding in Sanford. She says her lakefront property was destroyed, leaving her family and her animals all without a home. She says luckily they were able to get a camper and move to their second property, but that's come with its own challenges as her family tries to rebuild their lives. Trying to take a shower and you're counting how many, how many seconds you can be in the shower before the water runs out. Trying to cook, trying to do dishes, just your basic trying to survive during the day and then you gotta you know get your hammer out get your crowbar out get the wheelbarrow moving and you know everything over there is still still a big chore she tells me the house isn't expected to even be livable for another six months which means they'll be taking on a michigan winter still in the camper this morning was really cold <laughs> i put my i I put my long johns on and my socks and my boots to be inside because the floors are cold. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, it's only 50 degrees out until winter hits. <laughs> she says she's trying to stay positive, but with the unknowns so many Sanford residents are facing, it's unsettling. It's scary. It's a scary feeling not knowing for sure where I'm going to be living when, when the colder weather hits. Ashland Hill, WNEM, TV5.